Hi, my name is Vishal and I'm a senior trainer in multimedia education. I have a 18 years of industry experience and let's get started with the video. Hello guys, uh, I just wanted to make a video on human body with all the anatomical details and it was a long pending uh, work I was just uh, trying to put in place. So let's start uh, with the uh, tutorial. So. I have collected a reference from internet. I'll be sharing the reference image link to you. You can just check that. So let's get started for, uh, with that. So I'll be uh, firstly loading the image planes. Okay. So I've got this image plane uh, which I've kept it in my drive. So as I've loaded in the front view, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that image plane in attribute editor. I just reduce the color again because it's too bright. And then I just keep this image plane in the center and also make sure that it is on the, uh, the foot is on the grid like that. Okay. Uh, and also if you could see uh, this image plane was scaled to, I'll just put it to three units. I'm not, uh, precisely modeling it in uh, real time scale uh, as this is vector so there is no problem if I uh, don't do also later I can scale it to the size what I wanted so I got this reference uh, which I'm going to model for so now let's uh, go to the side view I'll go to the view image plane import image and then load the image here as you have seen uh, I'm going to select that image and scale it to three units as I've done for the uh, for the front view image and I'm going to put this on the grid and also I'll change the color again for this image and now what I need to do is I need to select this image plane move it back and move this back as well so that it doesn't uh, occlude uh, your work so uh, so firstly uh, this video I'll just try to cover the pectoralis major uh, which is the chest muscle I have been telling that um, it's all about quad patches in one of my video you can check that video to understand what is quad patch and I'll be sharing the description in the link sorry link in the description sorry so what I'll do is I'll start modeling the chest here so uh, for that I'll be using um, a simple plane okay so take a plane and then rotate it 90 degrees and then just put that object like that I've changed some color settings here for some other work so I'll just uh, reset it back like what you generally see so whenever you select a model the color should be green which was like okay so I'll just set the subdivisions to um, two and then nicely place that uh, along the chest muzzle there okay and also come to the side view and then align that with the angle okay now for convenience I'll just choose this uh, layout here two layouts side by side and also I press control space to maximize the screen and then what you are seeing is the front view and here I bring the side view like that now start placing these points uh, with the reference so select this point put this in this corner this one to that corner so when I put this point uh, here I need to check where that point is in the side view and this one is here and this one is here and uh, I need to just match that simple so the the chest lines go side to the deltoids that is one thing you should keep in mind so I'm going to put that points in that particular angle so I'll just select this point and uh, start putting the points like that now uh, if you could see this one again should go to the deltoid starting point 
they should go at the armpits they should go at the right place of the chest and if you're not able to get it correctly no problem uh, once you start building it you get uh, things uh, correctly so i'll be adding more loops to it to get the right shape okay so i'm going to use the insert edge loop tool okay or i can use multi cut tool hold control and add a line so i'm uh, breaking this shape by adding lines here and then start placing it with the reference um, don't try to uh, i mean don't put too many lines at this point uh, the reason is uh, you may have to add uh, so many lines further uh, while you are um, doing the other parts okay now i'll use multi cut again and uh, i'll add a line while using multi cut if you hold shift it will be in the middle and then here it's middle so uh, i need to come into this front view or uh, sorry the perspective view and start defining this shape um, round so you need to make it round and uh, make sure that you're doing in all possible views there so you try to see your model from the low angle you see it from the top angle So it's okay if it's not really uh, finished or it's uh, not fine perfectly okay uh, because we can refine it uh, further so i'm just selecting this line and just moving it inside just to create that nice depth and then extrude it into the center and scale it okay while you're using the scale tool make sure that it is in the world axis and then uh, to do that press r and left mouse button okay and then you get a marking menu choose the world it was to object i just changed it to uh, world axis okay then scale it so that it becomes center line come to this uh, front view and then use the grid snap to keep that line precisely in the center now once that is done um, put the pivot point in the center by pressing d and x or d or v dv uh, i'll open the channel box i open this uh, using marking menu not marking menu the hot box so press space bar click in the zone and then choose the channel box there so uh, there's a lot of history i'm deleting the history and also i'll use this uh, freeze transformation once that is done go to edit uh, duplicate special and then choose uh, number of copies to one and then scale x to minus one and then geometry type should be instance and then you get a copy on this side and then if you just see this uh, is what you have got as i told you don't uh, worry about what you are getting just try to um, do consistently uh, consistently and then uh, you'll get the result uh, as you keep doing it um, in the model so i'll be adding a line here so i'll use the slide edge tool for that i hold shift and right click and then choose slide edge tool slide it there and then start placing the points and uh, make sure that you are matching the reference adjusting the flow is very important here so here it's straight line i'm just making it round that's what i'm doing with these points okay 
so i'll just try to create some depth to the chest muzzle so i'm going to select this uh, line and then move it like that and you should be able to see from the bottom here uh, okay firstly I, s I need to merge these two points here okay so for that i'm holding shift right click and then you have merge vertices on the top I select that and then you have merge vertices to the center and that should give the merge there and uh, from the low angle uh, i could see it's not uh, perfect or maybe i select this point and then move it I'll not precisely uh, trace the I'll not uh, precisely trace the reference here I just try to um, refer it just for the purpose of building it uh, later I will um, see the perspective view to get it uh, correct okay so that was the first phase of uh, the torso i'll just save this file and then continue the other part with another video and it's a total series of video okay